Welcome on another Fishy Friday here at Bart's Fish Tales, and today it's time for vongelen. And actually, vongelen is a common word for all kinds of uh, shellfish. But today we have vongelen ferracci, beautiful. We're not going to make a pasta with it, we're not going to use it in a risotto, we're going to steam them on papillot in a little package with all kinds of beautiful flavors. So now we start making the papillot, the package. So I start with a bit of a layer of tin foil. Why? To create the stability of the package. I have a piece of baking paper on top of it and now I start with the vongle. Take a, maybe a handful, sorry. A few more, beautiful, all these colors, different shapes, different sizes, but not too many because you want to create steam. Actually, this is maybe a starter. Maybe this is uh, a bit of finger food you would like to serve around on your party. Uh, it could be used to add on your pasta or, well, so many different possibilities. Um, but the, the main flavor of the vongle really will stay into this package. It's wonderful. Okay, so we have the vongle. Now we're going to flavor it up. So. Have this aside. First step, some garlic. I'm using half a clove. Finely chopped. So I add the garlic. Next step, a bit of chili. And I don't want to have it too spicy. So with a teaspoon, I scoop out the seeds and Chop it fine. Add it to the vongle. So I have two cherry tomatoes and I quarter them and add them to the vongle. Okay, so we take a bit of parsley, some leaves on top of it. It looks already fantastic. Colors. Okay, so I have it in front of me. Now I'm going to fold it so we create like a little bucket. What is it, a bigger, a little bowl maybe? In where we can add a few drops of white wine. Not too much. Then I've got a bit of fish stock. One tablespoon. Remember that there is juice coming out of these shells too. So we have the juice of the shell, which is very salty. It's the seed and we have the fish stock. And then we have the white wine to give it a bit of acidity. Beautiful. Good. I'm not adding salt because it's already a bit of salty water coming out of these shells. A bit of black pepper. And now I top it off with a bit of butter, which, which gives a bit of creaminess. So I like a little nub, a bit of butter on top of it. Okay, so now very important. You fold it, you close the package, but make sure that there is left enough air in between the ingredients and the package. So there is space where we can circulate the, the steam, the air. And now you see that the tin foil is making sure that you create the stability, the, that you actually can close this package. Beautiful. This is the start of steaming the vongelen. Okay, there it goes for 10 till 12 minutes into the preheated oven. And this is it guys, so easy to make. The only thing what I'll do is chopping up some parsley for some garnish at the end. Now it's just waiting until the vongelen are ready to be served. Okay, so we have had the clams, uh, the vongle for 12 minutes in the oven. Uh, take them out right now. Okay, open it. Look at this, look at this. They're all opened. So actually we have created this fantastic fish stock by having the fish stock, um, the juice out of the, the clams and the white wine and all these other great ingredi ingredients giving a great taste. So I have these in my little pan to serve right here. Add a bit of parsley on top of it. And guys, this is it. Steamed vongole.
papillot. Well, it's a great tapa, aperitif, finger food. It's fantastic. First, I have a little, little scoop of the, mm, of the juice. It's a soup, it's fantastic. Okay, with a bit of the juice, I'll have a taste of the rumba. Mm, right. So I have the vongole. It's it's delicious. You you still taste this true taste of the of the sea. But then we have this stock infused with tomato and a bit spiciness of the of the of the chili and a bit of the garlic. We have the parsley. Great taste. A bit of acidity of the white wine. It's a truly delicious dish, but so easy to make. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them in the box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon on another Fishy Friday.